Hello, and welcome to your second nugget of inspiration for a healthier, happier 2022. Now, so often when it comes to setting goals around health and well-being, the underlying thing there is deprivation or don't do this, okay? So if you think about it on the food side of things, it's okay, I'm not gonna drink that alcohol, I'm not gonna have those sugary foods, I'm not gonna have the chocolate. It's all the things that you can't have. Maybe your goal is to sleep better at night, so you're, you word it that you're not going to have your devices before bedtime. Negative, 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 negative. Telling your brain not, not, not really unhelpful and it doesn't work very well because basically if you tell your brain not to think about something all the time it's constantly thinking about that thing right so if I said to you don't think about a yellow elephant don't think about a yellow elephant do not think about a yellow elephant will you stop thinking about that yellow elephant are you still thinking about that yellow elephant right you're thinking about a yellow elephant. If you're saying to yourself all day, every day, I cannot eat that sugary drink, I should not be having that thing, I cannot have an alcoholic drink, do, 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 all day, your brain is just on high alert for those different things. It's just not a very helpful approach, okay? And that's why deprivation, you know, it can work when your willpower's high, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, Thursday, not so much. If you've had a, any alcohol at all, that willpower just goes out the window and deprivation um, approach becomes basically very, very difficult, right? It's why you eat hot chips when you've had alcohol, even though you tell yourself you're not gonna, right? We know these things. So instead of deprivation, what are we focusing on? I want you to focus on adding stuff in. So focus on the positives, putting positive habits and behaviors, putting positive things into your life that will improve your well-being rather than focus on deprivation, okay? So one of the most simple tips of, of all, you know, we get caught up in all these different things with food. You just need to eat more vegetables. It is really irritatingly simple, but we need to be having five to six handfuls of vegetables every day, okay? We used to think about the five plus, which was two servings of fruit, three servings plus three or four more servings of vegetables. That is a bare scratch the surface absolute minimum. I aim and the guidelines um, are to aim for five to six handfuls, <clears throat> excuse me, of vegetables every single day. So that can be fresh, frozen, salad vegetables, whatever you like. We need to be eating more vegetables. So add it in, add in two oily fish meals a week. Rather than thinking about <clears throat> taking your phone away at night, what you need to think about is adding in a nighttime routine that helps you wind down so that you're not on your device. But rather than the sitting there thinking, oh, I haven't got my phone or computer on me in the evening and I'm feeling really anxious about that, think about what you can do to wind down. What can you add in to help you wind down at night? So having a shower, really great because that actually, when you get out, it cools you down and cooling down will help you transition into sleep, okay? One of the reasons why it's so hard to sleep at this time of year, it's too damn hot. We actually need to cool our body temperatures down to sleep well. So it could be that, it could be that you are going to make the routine of reading at night. So that is something that you add into your day. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling disconnected, what can you add in, a positive thing to add in, that is gonna make you feel better? Maybe it is volunteering, joining a community group, um, it's starting a new hobby. Add something positive in to your life rather than focusing on the things you, you wanna take out, okay? Because unfortunately, all the diets that, that, that sell you the dream, they, they don't work, you know they don't work, right? You know they can't work long term because they don't change what's going on up here. And this is what is driving what you do. I am absolutely passionate about this with every bone in my body. We need to focus on what is going on in our mind to be able to make all the changes that we wanna be taking to our bodies and our, and our physical well-being. okay? So I want you to add in the comments below what you're gonna add in. Maybe it's something to do with food, maybe it's something to do with exercise, maybe it's something to do with sleep, mental well-being. What is the habit that you're gonna add in that's gonna make a positive impact on your well-being in 2022? And also, if you've got any other questions, any things that you want me to cover in this video series, let me know. Um, I look forward to answering them in the coming days and have a wonderful day today.